Hello guys, and welcome to my first video of something new, something that most of you probably have not seen before. As you may notice, there is something with the spring in the top left of the screen, and you no may notice that there are some things that are different, like there's blocks that are off. Minecraft doesn't naturally spawn it, so I'm just going to say this right now, this is modded. This is a mod pack called Harvest Valley, made by Kihan. And right now, if you would like to play in the world that I am playing in, I spawned down there. I just wanted to get up here so I could get up to this, the chest. But if you want to play in this world, the seed is literally Mira Kira. Mira space Kira. Like my username. That's or my, like my channel. This is essentially Stardew Valley inside of Minecraft. And... With this mod pack, it even gives you a guide on how to start. So to start, you need to essentially summon the Harvest Goddess. This book will show you how to summon the Harvest Goddess. This pack is balanced around Harvest Festival. In this pack, your goal is to build up a town, harvest crops, and sell them at your own town to get coins. These coins can be used to buy items or parts for other mods in the pack. This way is the only way to get those items if you want to play around with those mods. To begin, you need to summon the Harvest Goddess. So first, to do this, you need three vanilla flowers, such as, like, daisy, not daisies, uh, roses or dandelions. You need one flower pot, you need one stick, and one bucket with water, and then you make two holes like this. You do not need the bucket of water. You just need water to do this. But first, since there's wood right here, I'm gonna chop it down, and also, I do not want, okay. Apparently when you chop down trees, uh, the leaves just kind of decay on their own. That's going to be very useful, actually. I will really enjoy that. That means I will be able to chop down a whole bunch of trees really quickly and efficiently. And pumpkin. As you can see, I can turn it into pumpkin seeds, but here's the catch. These pumpkin seeds can't be planted. You have to buy the seeds from the shop to be able to plant them and then sell the pumpkins for money. Now since I already have the pumpkins, I'm pretty sure if I just got a shipping bin, which I don't currently have, which is how you sell stuff, that if I get a shipping bin, I could just go ahead and sell the pumpkins. But I do not have a shipping bin because I have to first summon the Harvest Goddess. What is that? What is that? What are these things? A Kasawari. That's a duck over there. That's a duck. What is a Kasawari? I don't know, but... So I need to go find some vanilla flowers, and I need to go find some clay. And I hope that there's some clay down here. Well, ah, whew, I got lucky with this one. And it's okay if I drown a bit. Don't worry, there are monsters, but this is literally day one in Minecraft. Like, Minecraft does have days. This is day one, and I will be fine. But now I have to find, ooh, berries. I have to find vanilla flowers that are not the bushes. Those are owls, okay. Let's go, oh, that works. Okay, take that, we'll take that. Flower child, yeah, you get uh, fireworks every time you get an achievement. It's beautiful. If you look at the top of the screen there, you can see that part of this mod is that you can see what is currently cooking in the furnace and about how long the burning materials have left or how long it takes to, left it takes to burn everything. I'm not really sure. I mean, I haven't played this mod much. And now we have our three bricks, even though we have four, but we only need three. So we just do that, and there is our flower pot. Actually, I believe I need a third flower, don't I? Let me just look. Uh, I need three vanilla flowers. Yes, I do. I know there's a dandelion around here, but I don't know. Well, these are vanilla, I know that. Uh, yes, those are vanilla. They, I, it says what mod they're a part of, and it just says Minecraft. Like... That says forestry. These say Minecraft, so. Ooh, is that a bush? I don't. I, I didn't. Is this a bush? Is this a. Up? Uh, I guess that's a bush, but I can't do anything with it? No, it is. It's a blueberry bush. Tartan blue. Found in temperate areas. Take those. Might be able to do something with them. And. Alright, let's go summon the harvest goddess. Oh, well. I guess so I need dirt first to be able to do this properly. Because one nice way to do it is you need dirt. So instead of going out to get mine, to going out, instead of going to mine to get your uh, iron for your bucket, you can just get dirt and make the shape 
with dirt. So, okay, now we have our basic shape here of what we need to do. So, we have our basic shape with the water in there. Then you fill the two holes with water, you place two flowers like that, there and there. I might have to put more dirt down. Then you put down the flower pot, you place vanilla flower in the flower pot. Now you keep clicking the flower pot with the stick and you should get a new flower, then you throw the flower in the water. Okay, so I do need to put dirt here, and then there. So we'll put oxide daisy. Oh, well, I don't think it matters. It doesn't say that they have to be the same. Put that there. Then that, I need a stick. Wave the stick, you see the particles. And we have a new flower. Break the flower. And you throw the goddess flower, which has a beautiful blue text. Color of the goddess. Throw it in the water, and you wait. And she appears. The harvest goddess. Perfect. Hello, my dear. I'm not sure if I recognize you. Have we met? Uh... Is this your first time playing? Yes, it is. It's my second time, but sure. Well then, nice to meet you. I am the Harvest Goddess. I'd like to tell you a little story. A long time ago, this land we live in was filled with a bustling village. The people were removed from their homes by a crazy storm and forced out of their homes. And now I hear that they can... They want to return back home where they belong, but they need your help. Oh, and just to let you know, I will poof after a while. You can always respawn me with the Goddess Flower. I'll leave you one every time I leave. I think that's all I have to tell you for now. See you later. Thank you for the four goddess flowers. You just gonna sit there? Why, hello, my sweet. It's nice to see you again. I've had a little thought about how we can get the town started. I've heard rumors that a fella named Ulif is an excellent carpenter. He and his sister have been looking to take on a project, and this could be just the right thing for them. Jade would be a perfect fit, as she loves nature and would be a great asset for getting started. I think we need something to entice them. Perhaps if you fetch me two dozen logs, then I can have something for you that just might work. Got it. We have to get two dozen logs for this goddess. Here's the issue. There's not many trees around here. It's just kind of bushes. So, I'm just gonna chop down a whole bunch of bushes. And then we we'll gotta return with, you know, 24 logs. Okay, so now I have my two dozen logs, even though I have two over, but, you know, enough is enough. It's also nighttime. Yeah, so that's gonna be a great thing to try and deal with, that it's now night and monsters are gonna spawn. I don't have a base, you left me a goddess flower. I'm gonna throw one in there. And yes, you do spawn at night, got it. Uh, perfect, just what we need, thanks a bunch. I've got the perfect thing for you right here. This is a structure blueprint. You use them to select the area you want to build to be built. You'll see a ghost image of a building when you have it selected. Once you've found the spot, simply right click. If Yuluf hasn't moved in yet, he'll appear and then get started working on the building right away. You'll have you'll just have to wait a little while for him to be done. Take note, you can queue up blueprints, but only one can be built at a time. Oh, and don't worry if he dies from some tragic accident. He should respawn within the day. Okay, okay, it skips some parts, but... Oh, one more thing just before I forget. Once he's done building, Jade should move in. She normally hangs out upstairs. I just suggest that you go and take her a flower. As she has seeds, she'll be happy to trade for them. Thank you. Ah, uh, it is currently night. And I have a bed. So let's just go to sleep and skip the day. Also, with this mod, you are able to sleep any time during the day. And I mean any time. So, I'm gonna... Also, when you sleep, it restores your hunger. So it's very useful. So... You don't actually really need to make a working farm here. You'll need to, obviously, to make money. But it's not like a requirement. And there's some flat land over there, but... Oh, those birds are annoying. But I need to find a flat land-ish. It doesn't have to be, like, perfectly flat. But plains, an area like that, that would be useful. So, we'll I'll get back to you whenever I find a suitable spot. Okay, so I think I've kind of found a pretty good area right now. It's not great, but it is flat, and it does have a whole bunch of trees around, like there's a forest over there. So, I think I'm just going to get out the blueprint here, and I'm just going to place it. And as you can see, it has the ghost image here. And I think we kind of want the river to be, like, the back of the village. It's going to be behind the village and stuff, so... Like, having it right around here might just work perfectly fine. I want to break that. Uh, that works. Okay, and he's just going to start building that and that's gonna actually take him quite a while 
So, uh, you can see this thing in the distance here. While he's building that, I'm going to go explore and see what this thing is. And I might have to go to sleep just so I can restore my hunger because right now I, I have like... I'm almost out of run. My hunger is dwindling. It's struggling. Yeah, that's great. What are these? Ow, I'm... D okay, poisonous. I'm, on, I'm poisoned. That's why I don't like the forest. There's many things that can just kind of poison you for no reason. It's not enjoyable. Kind of had a natural staircase there. That was pretty sick. What is this? Is this like a castle? I mean, it has it has vines, so I should be able to climb up it, right? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to kill myself. I'm trying to just get on top here. Wow. There's actually just kind of a castle here. I don't have any run left. I was gonna try and run jump, but I can't run. So I can't really make this jump. Or I can't, I can. Hmm. Now this doesn't look like a bad area, really. I don't wanna drop down in here because I don't know if I can get out, but. This might be a future project. I might just turn this into part of the village. I can always recreate the, I can always move the village. I just have to essentially have the all the buildings rebuilt in a different location. But it's not that far away really isn't and I'm gonna just chop down some trees right now I'm fatigued great but what does that do I don't know what fatigued does really don't because it's not a normal minecraft thing I don't think at least and all the leaves just disappeared oh blueberry bush uh, can I harvest it no but I'm gonna take it I don't know what I can do with them but let's go put them down I can't run. Oh boy. Oh, a bird's nest. I remember bird's nests from my trying out this thing. Oh, it just gave me a pigeon egg and some sticks. That's not fun. Didn't even spawn a pigeon. How dare it. He's still over there working. He's just working his butt off while I'm just kind of casually walking around. Okay, and now you lift carpentry is built. Hello, Ulif. Do you want to talk? Let's see. Are you open? You are. It's Tuesday. You're open from 9 to 5.30. Got it. Let's talk. Building the bil building the best buildings for you. What do you want to do? I will chat. I can always use new materials to help me build. Thank you. Let's look at your shop then. I can make an animal ranch. I can make a poultry farm. I can make a general store. That's what I need, but right now I need to make that shipment box, actually. I need to make that soon. I can buy oak wood if I had money. I don't know how much wood you buy. I can buy stone. I can buy a red bed. I get a whole bunch of stuff, but... You're not the main, uh, person. When did I get a tiny cactus? What do I do with the tiny cact? I'm throwing away a tiny cactus. I don't want it. I don't know what to do with it. But let's go up here to... Uh, is she supposed to be here? Because she's not. There's supposed to be a girl up there who, if you give seeds, she will give you, or you give flowers and she gives you seeds. Oh, she's outside now. Okay, hey, come here, Jade. Nice to meet you. I'm Jade. I'm kind of, uh, looking for a flower right now. Well, uh, there's a flower right here, right here, and right here. If I could hit it, there's one here, there's one here. I'm pretty sure it wants you to give her five flowers, but it's not working properly. Hey, it looks like you have a flower for me. The goddess told me all about you. I can't wait to see the town grow. It's not even a town yet, but sure. I think the goddess wants to make... Wants to... us. <laughs> oh boy, I can't read. <laughs> I think the goddess wants to thank you for helping us out, so you should go see her. But afterwards, please do come back and visit me, as I have something I'd love to show you. Yeah, okay, okay. I had to reread that real quick. It's like, nope, she wants. I have to go summon the harvest goddess again, real quick. So we'll just throw this here. Apparently, I have to talk to her again. I didn't throw that in the water. There we go. Summon her. Perfect. Well done, dear. This town will be built in no time with you at the helm. Getting things done will probably cost you some money, though. So I'm happy to give you a starting gift of 1,000 gold. I hope you spend it wisely. Anyway, you should be off to see Jade again now. Thanks for the help. I literally just saw her. Can you give me a flower before you leave? Because you didn't give me one last time. 
Okay. Bye. Let's hope you have flour when I come back, but Jade! You want some flowers? Wait, I should have five of these. I think I already accidentally gave her one. Jade, stop moving. Stop moving. Thank you. Hey, as promised, I have something to tell you about. Crop farming. Has anyone ever taught you about it before? I know how, but I'm gonna ask her, how do I farm crops? Well, then let me teach you. This is something, you know, for you viewers who don't know about this mod. The very basics of crop farming is that you need to till some ground. Once done, simply plant some seeds in this spot. Keep in mind that seeds plant in a 3x3 area, which is a 9 block area. You will need to make sure that those seeds are watered every day, or they will not grow and they will wilt. As well as making sure that you have the correct crops for that season. In order to use your hoe, you simply have to right click it to till dirt into farmland. Before we can use the watering can, however, you will need to fill it with water. Take these and come back to me when you have grown yourself some hardy turnips. Oh, one final tip. If you want to speed up crop growth, you can sleep. Crops will grow every day, so this is the quickest way to get them to grow. Thank you. You have given me a hoe. And you have given me hardy turnip seeds and a watering can. Perfect. Now, I will find an area. How about just right outside of your area? Just right here. Like, just right here. Perfect. There's a nice 3 by 3 Go, oh, yeah, yeah, here, here's some seeds that I can't do anything with because it says can't be planted by the seeds from the shop instead, so, yeah, I don't know why they left those in, like, if you can't do anything with them, why would they even drop them, but, whatever, it's not like, it's not that bad, it's just kind of annoying, it's like, oh, I got seeds, but I can't actually do anything with them, then we do that, we do that, and we do that. And they're so colorful. I should go fill this watering can and see if the, she left me a goddess flower. She did. Thank you. She left me one last time, most likely, but I did not uh, remember to go and grab it. What is that? I got. Hold up. Look at the top of the screen. It says wheatgrass error biomes of plenty. All right, then. I guess there's error blocks. The cactus is. Okay, I don't want the cactus. Tiny cactus. I don't know what to do with you, but I don't want. I didn't want it. And we can do this real quick like. You may notice that the game seems to be lagging when I'm doing that. And it is. And I have no idea why. It just lags ever so slightly. And it's noticeable by me. Maybe not so much by you, but I whew, I can notice it. Alright, uh, do you want to talk anymore? You don't I don't have the hardy seed. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I don't have your nine hardy or your nine uh hardy turnips yet. But I will chop down this tree because I need to get your boyfriend, or your husband, I don't actually know. I need to get him some wood. Why? Why, you ask? Because I need to make a shipping bin. So I can get rid of the turnips when I grow them, and I can make money. And then I can expand the village, or town. This is going to be my town. What am I going to name the town? That is a good question. Ah, uh, oh boy. I don't know. Leave a comment down below and, you know, I might just, I might just make the name of the town the most liked comment. That seems like an idea, right? Make you guys decide the name of the town. I don't want to pick up that cactus again. Okay. So, how much wood do I, I definitely have enough wood. Uh, can I get a shipping bin, please? Shipping box, thank you. I don't know which wood you used, but you used, I think you used dark oak that I had, so. We're just gonna put that right here for now I would make a house but I don't really care right now to make a house because I don't need to I wish he would like he would build you a house or you could buy blueprints to make for so he could build you a house but you can't you have to build your own house I'm gonna get rid of some of this grass and it is making the game lag I think that's something with the data pack and the error in the grass it just kind of messes up some so yeah enjoy And I'm just gonna go to sleep so we can move on to the next day got it oh why is it dark it like went bright and then it went dark as soon as I woke up let's get rid of these industrial hemp seeds let's water all of the crops again and we're just gonna go right back to sleep actually before I do that though finish watering these I'm going to I didn't want to put on the pump wait oh okay I thought it was like, oh, you can put on two pumpkins at- You can, you can put on two pumpkins at once. There's a glitch in this Minecraft if you auto, like, here. 
I can only put it in one if I do that. But if I just do shift click, it puts the entire stack. That's weird. I didn't mean to do that though because I wanted to put them in the shipping bin. And then I'm going to go to sleep and see. So I have two pumpkins in there. I have a thousand gold you can see in the top right of the screen. What happens when I go to sleep? How much gold do I get for wild pumpkins? I got sh achievement. Ship ahoy. I got 250 gold per pumpkin. And the turnips are ready. I got a whole bunch of hardy turnips. I got, whew, we got a nice 27 batch here. How do I know it's 27? Simple math. She's still outside. Are you ready? Looks like you don't have nine hardy turnips yet. I do. I have nine. Wow, you have done a fantastic job growing those hardy turnips. I am tempted to take them for myself, but you can keep them. I don't want you to have wasted your time on me. I should probably tell you that you can sell whatever you grow for gold. You'll just need a shipping bin, which I have already purchased. If you want them, you can buy them directly from my brother's shop while he's open for business. To use them, all you do is right click with the item held in your hand and they should be ready to be shipped. In the morning, you'll get gold for everything you ship. If you don't want to ship everything by hand, just place a hopper next to the bin and it will, it will happily insert. Profits go to whoever placed in it. Don't have to worry about that because I'm playing in a single player world. Just to let you know though, the turnips you've been growing aren't really worth much. It only took two days to grow them, I don't expect them to be worth much. You'll need to grow some others, which you can get from me if you want to make more money. I do have a small supply, but I'm happy to trade for five flowers at any time. That's why I got the five flowers earlier. I would suggest though that you talk to my brother and get the general store built as soon as possible. The people there should be able to sell you a much more variety than I ever could. As a last reward, take this sickle. You'll need it to harvest some crops, and it is pretty effective at destroying dead ones. Thank you. I have a sickle, which is a pretty decent weapon, actually. But here are your poppies. You want the poppies? Thank you for the flowers. Here's a bag of seeds. Where are they? Right there. Turnip seeds. Ooh. Nice. I got four bags this time. Four. I'm going to get rid of all of these hardy turnips. Got 27 to get rid of. It's perfect. It's a nice and colorful thing here. Ah. We just need to get one more 3x3 three three area here going. Place more turnip seeds and we'll water them. And you know what? I've made actually a decent amount of progress already in this first episode. Because usually it takes a while just to get the carpenter's place up. And I got it up pretty quickly. So I'm just going to end this episode here. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And next episode... We should get the general store built, we should have these crops gotten rid of and sold and shipped and we should have a whole bunch more money. So, until next time, adios.